Hello viewers, uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel Ishfaq Samun Vlogs. Uh, today uh, we are going to discuss uh, various schedules of the Indian Constitution. Uh, it is lecture uh, the fifth for class 11th students, subject political science, book one, Constitution of India. Uh, topic uh, various schedules of the Indian Constitution. Uh, let us get started. Uh, the Constitution of India is a document uh, that contains uh, laws concerning various subjects. It is divided into 448 articles with 12 schedules. A uh, schedule can uh, be defined as tabular documentation of details that are not mentioned in the articles. The primary function of schedules is to uh, declare and act provisions. Let us discuss all schedules one by one. Uh, schedule 1 uh, Names of states and their territorial jurisdiction, and names of union territories and their extent. Schedule 2 Provisions relating to emoluments, allowances, and privileges. Uh, the schedule outlines the salaries of various uh, constitutional dignitaries, such as the president, uh, the vice president, the governor, etc. Schedule third, uh, forms of oaths and affirmations. Uh, the schedule provides the forms of oaths and affirmations for various constitutional dignitaries, such as member parliaments, uh, member legislative assemblies, judges of the Supreme Court. Uh, schedule fourth, uh, allocation of uh, seats in the Rajya Sabha. The schedule determines the allocation of seats uh, in the Rajya Sabha. Council of States uh, to states and all union territories. Uh, schedule 5. Uh, provisions as to the administration and control of scheduled areas and uh, scheduled tribes. Article 6. Sorry, Schedule 6, uh, provisions uh, as to the administration of tribal areas in the states of Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura, and Mizoram. Schedule 7, uh, division of powers between the union and the states in terms of union list, state list, and concurrent list. Uh, presently, the union list contains 100 subjects, originally 97. Uh, the state list contains 61 subjects, originally 66. And the concurrent list contains 52 subjects, originally 47. So, in all these three lists, state list, uh, union list and concurrent list, uh, in union list there are sub the hundred subjects uh, where uh, the central government has exclusive powers to make legislation. Uh, in the state list, there are 61 subjects, ordinarily 66, where the state government has uh, full power to make legislation. Uh, and the concurrent list contains 52 subjects, ordinarily 47, where both center and state has power to make legislation, giant legislation. Schedule 8, language recognized by the constitution. Uh, originally, it had 14 languages, uh, but presently there are 22 languages, uh, such as Assamese, Bengali, Bodo, Gujarati, Hindi, Kashmiri, etc. Schedule 9th, uh, it deals with the acts and regulations of the state legislatures 
dealing with land reforms and the abolition of the zamindari system and the parliament deals with uh, other matters so this schedule uh, was added by the first amendment act of 1951 uh, which protects the laws uh, that cannot be challenged on the grounds of uh, violating fundamental rights so in the court of law uh, uh, for the protection of the law mm, this schedule cannot be challenged so fundamental rights are always safeguarded uh, by the uh, constitution and uh, are uh, enforced through the court of law uh, schedule 10 uh, provisions relating to uh, disqualification of the members of parliament and state legislatures on the ground of defection uh, so uh, what is defection defection is if any member uh, el uh, was elected or is elected uh, for parliament or any state assembly uh, on one party ticket but after winning the election he uh, left that party and joined another party it is known as defection so this schedule was added by the 52nd amendment act of 1985 also known as the anti-defection law so uh, there this schedule protects uh, the, uh, the defected uh, this uh, tool uh, is related to anti-defection uh, law uh, we deal with, uh, with uh, situations of uh, defection in parliament uh, or state legislatures uh, by members of a political party uh, independent members and nominated members uh, in limited circumstances uh, the law allows legislatures to change their party uh, without uh, incurring the risk of disqualification uh, schedule uh, uh, 11th it uh, specifies the powers authority and responsibilities of uh, municipalities uh, this schedule was added by the 74th constitutional amendment act of 1992 uh, schedule 12th uh, specifies the powers, authority, and responsibilities of panchayats. Uh, this schedule was added by the 73rd Constitutional Amendment Act of 1992. Uh, with this, we have concluded uh, today's uh, uh, lecture on schedules of the Indian Constitution. Uh, in next lecture, we will discuss about various parts of the Indian Constitution. Uh, so, we'll be coming soon if you want to talk with us. WhatsApp number is visible there on screen. Uh, email ID, you can also mail us on email ID. That is also visible on screen. So, please uh, like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. channel. Uh, Thanks for watching the video. Thank you. Thank you very much.